very high performance and very good efficiency. Uh, so Snapdragon 845 can achieve up to 30% better performance than Snapdragon 835, and also can achieve up to 30% better power efficiency compared to Snapdragon 835. And there are two reasons for this. The first reason is that every block on the chip has been re-architected from the ground up. So we didn't just evolve our GPU, we basically started from scratch, created a brand new GPU from the ground up. Same thing with the DSP, the ISP, the image signal processor. So the new architectures help a lot with being more efficient. The second reason for the improvement in efficiency is the system cache. So this is memory that lives on the chip itself that not just the CPU but all of the other blocks can use. So the DSP can use it, the GPU can use it, the ISP can use it. And because of that, we can reduce the number of times that the chip has to go and fetch data from the RAM. Uh, and reading data from RAM costs a lot of power, right? So because of the system cache, we can reduce the number of times that the, you know, the chip has to go and read data from the RAM. Um, and so we can reduce that power consumption quite a bit. So the end result is, for example, what we're showing here. So we have two devices, one with Snapdragon 835 and one with Snapdragon 845 running the exact same uh, workload, in this case a benchmark, a graphics benchmark. And we're measuring the power consumption of both devices in real time. And as you see, it's kind of hard to see from a distance here, but there's a line that says average power, right? So for the 835, the average power is around 3.8 watts, and the average power for the Snapdragon 845 is around 2.8 watts, right? So that's a, you know, 30% improvement in the power consumption even though both chips are built on 10 nanometer uh, fin fed technology so the gains here are not because we moved to a new silicon process right this is only because of really the new architectures and because of the system like just a different, uh, oh so here yeah, yeah so here actually what we're showing is um, Typically, when you have a very high performance, yeah, when you have a very high performance chip, you expect its power consumption to be worse than a lower performance chip. In this case, what we're showing is that the Snapdragon 845 actually has the best power performance, even compared to Snapdragon 660. So Snapdragon 660 is one of our most popular chip for uh, mid-tier smartphones, you know, and it's very, it's legendary for power consumption, very long battery life, right? So what we're showing here is that um, even compared to Snapdragon 660, Snapdragon 845 has 15% lower power consumption, right, for the same task. So with 845, you're getting the best of both worlds. You're getting the best performance, and actually you're also getting the best power efficiency as well. Um, can you explain a little bit on how, on this side, yes. the power consumption on the 835, 845 is similar, yes. but on the games playback there, you can see 845 leading. Excellent question. It's because of the task we're doing here. So in this case, all we're doing is we're decoding 4K 30 frame per second video. And the reason why we're doing that is because the Snapdragon 660 doesn't support any more than that. If instead we were comparing 4K 60 frame per second video, then again you would see the 30% difference between the 835 and the 845.